The lingo TikTok has become a phenomenon. Just a couple of months ago, there were around 100,000 followers, and now they have more than 4.3 million. Today in our films, we analyze this TikTok case and we study to see what is the formula they had been used. It's impressive to say that today Duolingo has more than 93 million likes and a 19% of engagement rate. My name is Ari from Ari Films and today we analyze the TikTok formula that Duolingo has used to succeed on this platform. <music> Flicker, Flash, and Flair. This is the formula that TikTok advised to content creators to use in the platform. Let's check it out how it works. Flicker content, reactive, is a participation in trends. Flash content is a content that is proactive, is planned, and has an episodic content. Flare content is interactive, is in a large scale, is a huge campaign or initiative. Duolingo did apply this formula and that's the reason they succeed. If you scroll down to the beginnings of the TikTok account of Duolingo, you will find out that most of their content was flash content. That means there was like how-to videos and they translate phrases into trends. But let's figure out what it means to create flash content. So now we know that flash content translates into go into trends but let's see what it means to create Flickr content. Duolingo participated in multiple trends. They brought this into life in a variety of ways, ranging from using the staff from Tapping Duo, this big green owl that serves as the brand official mascot, for example. They also switched to a reaction to a during to an elevator with Jacob Roth and this big boy band. What is Flare content and how Duolingo did apply in their data account? Flare content is a very low frequency and is a large campaign that you will use one or two times per year. You can see this as an example in their TikToks when they are talking specifically about the brand. It's not more common to see this kind of content in their account, but if you search and as you see this example, you will understand what means flare content. Optimization makes perfect. And it's so weird to find a content format that, that will click or connect with your audience in the first stride. And the same happened to Duolingo. They had their first hit in the video 39. So it's about trying, about practicing and applying this formula. One of the things I like the most about Duolingo's TikTok is that they lean into education to create entertainment. And that's a very good formula and makes sense because we scroll around 500 meters a day and they needed the content that stands out. And that's the content that Duolingo does. As a final words, I will say that TikTok maybe seems daunting to you, but analyzing the TikTok Duolingo account, we have a playbook where we can rely on. Embrace the flash, flicker, and flare formula. See your framework, see what is working for you. Analyze the content, be focused on entertaining. If you're a content creator and you are searching for more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. You can also visit Ari Films. It's a company where we create tons of videos every week and we have a lot of content to help you out. Let me know in the comments which runs which analyze next. Bye bye.